something is terribly wrong with LOL dolls. Some parents discovered that plunging some LOL dolls in ice cold water revealed lingerie or bizarre symbols, such as slices of pizza. Here's a look at these dolls and how they fit a wider agenda. LOL Dolls is currently one of the top-selling doll lines in the world. And, considering the fact that most girls around the world own at least one doll, and many own a whole collection, that means massive numbers. MGA, the doll line's parent company, has netted over $5 billion from LOL doll sales since its launch in 2016. It even outsold staples such as Barbie and Pokemon. One of the brand's most popular products, LOL Surprise, had a rather upsetting surprise in store for those who plunged the dolls in cold water lingerie, bondage-influenced outfits, and odd tattoos. Several parents who were understandably concerned and horrified about these dolls, posted some videos online, dipping these dolls in water. The results are as shocking as they are disgusting. Here are some examples. When plunged in cold water, this doll reveals lingerie with lace and garter belts. There is no way this can be mistaken for a swimsuit. Unlike Barbie dolls, the facial features and body proportions of LOL dolls are made to resemble babies and toddlers. So, those who thought of this weird, unadvertised gimmick are sick in the head. This doll wears by default fishnet stockings, which is already insane. When dipped in water, see-throw undergarments appear. Also, a checkerboard pattern appears on the back of her head. As explained in previous videos, this is an important symbol for the occult elite. This doll wears a full fishnet outfit, complete with a choker and high boots, or whatever. This one is a boy. It already attracted controversy because the makers took the time to craft baby genitals on it. Guess what happens when you dip it in water? It is already a known fact that cheese pizza is a code word used by pedos to refer to child porn or same initials. To those who think that this pizza is there because children like pizza, take a good look at this next picture. This doll has a slice of pizza right on her genitals. The message here is clear. When dipped in water, geometric shapes appear on this doll's arm, I'm not sure what they represent. Also, a checkerboard pattern appears on the back of her head, and a slice of pizza on her back. This doll has a devil tail and a pair of wings. There are many more, but you get the picture. In response to the outrage generated by these dolls, MGA issued a statement, admitting that a small number of dolls showed inappropriate attire markings, and took corrective measures to their designs. That statement doesn't explain why the company took the time, the effort, and the resources to add this unadvertised feature to these dolls. One thing is for sure, they knew exactly what they were doing. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. Watch till the end to avoid misunderstanding. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. Thank you. MGA is the world's largest privately owned toy company. It is owned by Isaac Larian, a billionaire who made fortune by introducing Bratz dolls in 2001. These dolls also garnered a great deal of criticism due to, well, just look at them. By the way, this is Bratz dolls. There's also baby Bratz. I had to double check to make sure those really exist. And they do. In the past years, professionals from various fields professionals issued grave warnings about these dolls. Bratz dolls raised controversy in the consumer world over their fundamental campaign, which advertises small-bodied dolls with large and eye-like eyes, giant full glossy lips, and tiny noses, dressed in provocative, some may even say slutty outfits, whose main concern in life is shopping. The implications of their over-sexualized image and seemingly mundane aspirations had many critics questioning why such characteristics were being catered to young girls, many of which were younger than even the prepubescent stage. This article went on to explain the fundamental difference between these dolls and Barbie. For one, Barbie is clearly a woman, tall and slim with a microscopic waist and large breasts. But she is marketed as an independent woman, with no husband or family, Barbie holds many different occupations that young girls should readily aspire to, such as a doctor, veterinarian, athlete, or store owner. Brats on the other hand, have been deliberately and disturbingly created so that young girls can imagine themselves as a Bratz doll. Their bodies, which have much smaller, more childlike measurements than Barbie, were cleverly built to be more relatable to their young users. As McAllister intelligently explains, this primacy of appearing over having is reflected in Bratz. Compare the Barbie slogan, we're into Barbie, with Bratz girls with a passion for fashion. 
These slogans reflect the difference between owning a doll and living and looking like a doll, McAllister 250. Cindy Megan Joe, Children and Media. The Consumer Culture of Bratz Dolls. According to a report by the American Psychological Association, one particularly pernicious effect of the constant exposure to sexualized images of girls is that individuals and society may be trained to perceive and label sexualized girls as seductive. Images of precocious sexuality in girls may serve to normalize abusive practices such as child abuse, child prostitution, and the sexual trafficking of children. Other toy companies also release some extremely questionable toys. Another toy garnered massive backlash after it was discovered that a secret button placed on the doll's privates caused it to emit various gasping and giggling sounds. Here's a viral Instagram video about this doll. Weird fact. That video was hit with a fact check that says partly false information. Despite this fact check, Hasbro pulled the troll doll from the shelves after a petition signed by 300,000 people accused the toy maker of promoting child abuse by placing a button which made her giggle between her legs. No matter what excuse these companies give, and no matter what fact checks say, these companies know exactly what they are doing by marketing these toys to children. They've been doing it for years, knowing very well what effects these things have on children. These dolls are part of a wider agenda to normalize pedophilia and the sexualization of minors. In the past month, I've analyzed Cardi B's music video WAP and the Netflix movie Cuties, which were also custom made to achieve these aims. They want to introduce children to sexuality at the earliest age possible, because these pedos want relations between children and adults to become normal and acceptable. On a wider scale, they want to snap children out of the blissful innocence of youth, to force them into a twisted version of adulthood, focused on the sick values of the occult elite. In 2020, more than ever, parents need to be vigilant about the products and the media consumed by their children. Because the elite corporations behind these products do not want the very best for your children. They want the exact opposite. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. Always appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.